And we're live. So, all right. Hello, Idiots on Parade, the two ugly for TV podcast. We mock the news so you don't have to. I am Nathan Timmel, stand-up comedian in Iowa City. With me, as always, is Jake Vevra, stand-up comedian in New York City. Hello, Jake. How's it going? All is shit here. Uh, my wife may be coming in and out of the background. I don't know if you can hear it. Our water uh, softener is continually draining, so something's going on there. Uh, she's got a call in to her plumber friend. I woke up this morning, got in my car, started backing out of the driveway, and went, something's not right. Got out, flat tire. Parked it last night. Uh, all oh, tires shit. good. And so, so lot, lot going on this morning, lot going wrong. I can't wait. The Packers are probably going to lose next. Packers will lose today. And then that's that right. Be the trifecta of shit. Thanks a lot, Biden. Yes. Thank you, Biden. Let's get you but out the of Lions there. Ain't gonna, the Lions ain't going to lose. I know that. You know, you know, what didn't happen during the Trump presidency. Yeah. I did not have a flat tire and our water softener worked. So it's right. It's right. That's all I'm saying. I'm not Why? Saying... Because there's a terrible vice president now who's dicking around with your tires. He is. All right. Let's jump right in. Um, one of the hot topics of not just the election, but in life, something people talk about because they're concerned. Jake, people have a lot of concerns and they should is things like drag queen story hour, gay marriage, um, LGBTQ rights. And th they're very concerned because these are horrible, evil people. And again, one just got arrested. Uh, this this uh, Radcliffe, what's his first name? Zachary Radcliffe was arrested. He is not only a member of the LGBT community, he is also a drag queen. Oh, wait, I'm wrong about all of that. He is a youth pastor who uh, preaches for MAGA and performed for Trump Jr. And he was arrested on child sex abuse charges. So, yes, another uh, a youth based pastor and fervent Donald Trump supporter was charged with sexual child sexual abusive activity. Oh, those those non drag queens, those 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 straight supposedly. Yeah, that's right. Don't let your kids see the drag show. Take them where it's safe. Church. Nothing weird ever happens there to kids. Ever. Does it say in the article? Because I'm looking. I can't remember if I read it or not. Uh, of a mind, whether whether it was boys or girls, was was he was he? Uh, a I child? don't know. But they were super young, man. They were like, oh, thirteen. But I'm thirteen. I'm yeah, right here. The oh god, gross, just horrible. Is accused of creating material. With a child, uh, victims were between the ages of 13, 15, but I, I'm, I'm not getting a gender here. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's one of those things. You know how like cops wear body cams? How yeah. is there not body cams on guys that run, you know, any kind of youth program? That's who I really want to wear a body cam because I don't trust any dude who's like who wants to go and hang out with kids in the woods for any reason. I don't yeah. care if it's Cub Scouts. I don't care if it's I don't care if it's drag queen story hour in the woods with no cameras. I don't care if it's uh, Bible stuff in the woods with no cameras. A any of that, like anything, because I can't think of anything I would hate to do more than go out and and go camping with other people's shitty kids. Oh, for a whole weekend. That to me would be worse than jail time. If they were like, listen, you have not paid your parking tickets. You've wrapped up so many. You either got to do a weekend in Rikers Island or a weekend uh, playing acoustic guitar with with 28 year olds in the woods. I'd be like, give me give me a week in Rikers just to make sure I definitely don't have to hang around these kids. So the guy who's definitely like, oh, yeah, I'm a grown man, loves hanging out in the woods with kids. I want a body camera on him again. I, I know we're rock. We're, we're knocking right wingers and, you know, the churches and stuff. And for good reason. But like it ain't even just about the church. It's about I, I don't care. Cubs count church stuff i don't whatever drag queen story hour the way if it's if it's a grown man who wants to hang out who specifically wants to hang out with kids in the woods i'm worried about that dude he should be body cammed up okay two thoughts one you said really fast 28 year olds and i know you meant 28 year olds so it, it sounded like you said 28 year old yes, people but 20 comma eight year old yeah even yes. 28 year olds are too young for me to want to hang around in the woods I, <laughs> I, they get on my nerves too these fucking zennials but to my second thought i wouldn't even take it that far because i will i will i will say right now into a microphone for the live broadcast and the recorded one 
I love my kids. I love my kids like nobody's business. But spend enough time with them. Even your own kids get on your nerves. Now you're adding other people's kids to it and you're just trapped and you you want to be no it, it it's it's yeah there, there's something wrong up here that says give me other people's kids i want to visit and play with them and, and i didn't even mean to use play in quotes but that's what this guy was doing yeah it's psychotic i don't care uh, uh, football stuff that it's like hey man uh i know i'm a college uh coach but what if we brought eight-year-olds in? Like, what? No, that's weird. Body camp. Body camp. All day body camp. Any grown man who wants to be, and it might may sound a little sexist, Jake, do we body cam the women? No, we save money because they don't do that. They haven't broken the glass ceiling with that. When they well, start, they have no. occasionally, but as we all saw from South Park, and I was saying this even before the South, if it's an attractive woman, Okay, she's mentally damaged because she wants to sleep with a child. But if she's attractive, no harm, no foul to the kid. If she's then okay, yeah, prosecute. Sure, but we have we have a jury of all bros who uh, who 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 uh, assigns punishment and how how offensive we find it. No, seriously, I would I wouldn't be happy if my son's social studies teacher slept with him. But um, I would murder my daughter's social studies teacher if that dude slept with the way it should be. Yeah, yeah. I uh, would be upset if she slept with my son and didn't give him an A, but maybe maybe a B plus to keep the scent off, to throw the track off. Like, you know, maybe an A would be too far sleeping with and getting an A. But if, if she's yeah. my kid and then gives him a B plus to keep it on the down low, that's fine. Well, I think once they've been together for a while, the the, the female teacher actually punishes the male teacher or, or the, the, the male student that she's sleeping with because she's moody. You know what I mean? And he starts getting bad grades because, like, she's on the rag or whatever. It's a, it's a different kind of thing going on. You know what I mean? Totally well, different line's going to get us in trouble. <laughs> That's right. Oh, we got some live chats. Yeah. We see uh, we got hello from, from Mars. Mars. Hey, how's it going? We like Martians. Um, oh, shit, here we go. Uh, yeah, Israel, Israel or Gaza, Gaza jumping right in with Israel. the questions. I yeah, listen, actually, uh, I'm going third party on this one. I hope Martians come in and fucking defeat everybody in, in Israel and Gaza and take the whole thing over. Listen, uh, 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 Palestinians and Israelis can't play nice. They need to be governed by Martians. I'm going I'm pandering to the guy from Mars. Uh, if you got spaceships up there, I think you should go over, take over both Israel and and Gaza, make them all play nice. Uh, uh, they are now under the Confederation of Mars. I'm I'm all for it. Hello, Rich. We've talked about Israel and Palestine in the past. I mean, if something changes, we'll talk about it again. But if you really want, go search one of our episodes. That it's that, kind it's, of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer. I uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a, not a, not a lot to be said by uh, uh, two two pasty face guys over I was just here. Say, on two this assholes side of the pond, online you know? are not going to solve yeah, those problems. No. Yeah, if, if if me and Tim could solve the Middle East, by golly, we'd have done it a long time ago. We've been doing this <laughs> podcast for a while. All right, we're not we're not holding the solution for the Middle East to the Patreon listeners. You, you know what I mean? That's kind of a dick thing to do. It's we got the solution, but you got to subscribe uh, on the on the pay site. <laughs> yes, for five ninety nine a month, we will solve all the problems of the Middle East. Yes. Oh, See, I like Greeno here. I support the foreign policy that follows the golden rule. That's right. That's right. The golden rule policy. Uh huh. I will say this uh, really quickly. I was surprised at how quickly I, I got on the news and it was like, Israel is currently bombing Iran. I'm like, oh, shit, here it goes. And then the next morning it was over. It wasn't anywhere. It wasn't any, like that. That I, I thought that was going to be bigger when when Israel went after. Uh, yeah, them. I did, too. It just it shows you people just get numb to stuff. And I, I, I think our news should cover it more. But they're like uh, Israel bombing another country. Also, Donald Trump tweets a thing. Screw yeah. that thing he tweeted. <laughs> yes. All right. Like, yeah, I don't like that thing he tweeted, but come on now. There's bombs going off. Speaking of hypocrites, I'm just going to jump right back in. Another story about drag queen, uh, uh, a drag queen abusing young kids. Federal lawsuit accuses Tim Ballard of laundering money to play, pay for prostitutes. Oh, wait, it's another white male Christian that got in trouble. Tim Ballard is the guy who they loosely based uh, the movie that uh, Jesus was in. Jim Caviezel. Uh, God, what was that called? I'm Passion try- of the Christ? No, 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 no. The one where he was uh, he played Tim Ballard's character. 
So Tim, I, I, Tim I'm Ballard lost, founded under Operation Underground Railroad, noble cause to go after uh, victims of trafficking. And he, but the thing is, he violated the Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act because Ballard and the the and the Operation Underground Railroad engaged in human trafficking and exploitation of women under the guise of humanitarian anti-trafficking wow. operations. Talk about hiding in plain it's, sight, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, let's put all these resources into saying what we're doing so we can backdoor in. It would be as if like Harriet Tubman was really pro-slavery saying, hey, we got to catch those guys coming from the South and 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 sure. put them and, and, and put them back in, into the plantations. You know, like if because she was running the Underground Railroad to to get it. It's, it's, no, I get it. I get to reference. I, I it, it to me, it's weird because, well, hey, it's 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 obviously fucked up and crazy. And I hope this guy burns in hell. But also, how did you think you were going to keep getting away with it? Because the thing is, you're working in an organization that's all about freeing human trafficking victims. So you got to think most of the people that go to work in that field um, aren't just anti-human trafficking the way we are in most most people are uh yeah they're like real they're the most against it they're like i'm going to dedicate my life to stopping this thing so i you know they're going to be around you and they're going to find out about it i, I mean i don't know how you're recruiting people unless you're recruiting it like bottom up uh project 2025 style where it's just like i'm going to staff the entire things which is guys that used to work with el chapo and then we're going to have a fake charity i i, I mean because you're going to get the second if somebody even suspects this in your charity, they're, of course, going to blow the whistle on you. So I, I don't know how he thought he was going to keep getting away with this. Well, he has been sued um, it says six times since 2023. Sound of Freedom. That's the movie. It was one of those no budget Christian movies that blew up. It, it, it had a budget of 14 million. It made two hundred and fifty million dollars. But as soon as it came out, everybody started pointing out, one, you're basing it on a guy who is sketchy at best. And two, most of the shit, it's a Hollywood movie. It's like you took, uh, oh, he does good things. Now let's turn it into gunplay and raids to make it exciting. You know, so that was the movie. But yeah, he, he's a... Wait, I, wait, got a, got a funny comment. He said, bro, save that microphone from 1980s radio check. Goddamn right. Goddamn right. They had the best microphones back in the 1980s in Radio Shack. Meanwhile, I have a blue Yeti, but only because it, good marketing. I'm like, oh, this is affordable. And they've, they've, they, when I, when I That's searched right. Amazon, it was out. the first one that popped up and seemed affordable. So I just clicked purchase because I'm lazy. <laughs> no, this, yeah, no, this is a SM58. They did have these in the 80s, I believe. So yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, JG, on YouTube. Then I have something else with this guy, this Tim Ballard. Oh, you know what it made me think of? Did Did you see the movie Black Klansman? Uh, I think so. Spike yeah. Lee movie. I oh, read yeah, the yeah, book. I, I read the book, and I'm I'm here to. It was fine. It was written, but nothing happened in the book. It was an FBI procedural where he talked about phone calls and research, and phone calls and research, and they made it into a movie, and it was supposed to be like a thriller, and I'm like. Is this a movie of them just sitting in an office all day reading papers and trying to hunt down P.O. boxes of white supremacists? And I haven't seen them, but I would be damn curious to see how they play that, because that's what they did with the Tim Ballard thing is they said, oh, he does good things. Uh, let's turn it into an exciting action movie. That's what Hollywood does. It takes a boring story. Right. And sort what of if he did this with an AK-47? Same thing, but with an AK-47 <laughs> going off constantly. Yes, same thing with an AK-47. Let's stick. I, I I don't search out these news stories, but maybe it's the, the way the universe works where it just sort of hits you up. Uh, you, you, you get on a roll, but former CEO of Abercrombie and & Fitch indicted on sex trafficking charges. Everybody, but here's the twist on this one. This guy is... 61 or 71 i've got two here two smith 61 of west by another this is a bummer episode of the podcast i just realized we're almost 15 minutes in we've done nothing but talking about like children human trafficking no 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 no. tim ballard it was women it was not he rescued women but traffic he rescued kids but trafficked women is there Ah. there were no ages in the tim ballard story so he he was keeping it above board but the thing about this one the reason i sent you the abercrombie and fitch one is the twist is here we go Former CEO of Abercrombie, sex trafficking charges. Scroll down, scroll down. 
uh, he would they engaged in a sex trafficking scheme in which they would recruit men and engage in sex events like that was a twist I didn't see coming. You hear sex trafficking. It's always women or kids. I, I did not see that dude twist. So I, I got to give him credit for that one. No, it definitely happens. You know what I mean? Well, apparently it does. Kevin Spacey's out there, you know, especially in Hollywood and stuff. Hey, Spacey you know, was modeling. found innocent. All right. Well, you know, I'm not leaving my kids with him. You go ahead and leave your kids with Spacey then, huh? <laughs> Mr. Pro Spacey apologist. Everybody's all loosey-goosey with, yeah, I'd love to see another season of House of Cards till it's time to uh, uh, leave their youngins over at Kevin's house for you the weekend. You can babysit my daughter. There we I, Hey, that, that's not. No, 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 no. I said kids plural. You can't p- get picky and choosy. Everybody, yeah, everybody loves Kevin Spacey till, till it's time to drop Junior off. Oh, uh. I just, I mean, I can't, like I said, you, we both said it happens, but it just took me by surprise. The idea that was Jacobson's alleged role was to, he, Jacobson was the, uh, uh, the, the, oh, what's her name? The, the Epstein, Christine, what, what's, what's, uh, the woman's name that worked for Epstein? I'm drawing a blank. Oh, just Lane Maxwell? Maxwell, that's it. So yeah. Jacobson was the Maxwell. His alleged role was to travel the world to recruit and interview men for the, quote, sex events. So this is like the old day uh, Hollywood orgies you'd hear about. Yeah, pretty much. He See, required it's... that the candidates first engage in sex acts with him. Well, you got to you got to try them out. You don't you don't drive a car. You don't buy a car without driving it. Test drive. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's definitely a lot harder drugging people. When it's dudes and you want them to keep a boner. Because here's the thing. (laughs) I drug myself out of a boner all the time when I'm trying to have consensual sex with a woman. It's just it's not it's not doing it. So they they had like an elaborate cocktail, no pun intended, where they would have to shoot like uh, uh, just a, a, a cocktail of stuff in them to keep them like drugged to where, you know, they can kind of do whatever, but then they got Viagra too. So they still got a boner, even though they're basically asleep. I mean, it's a complicated thing. Yeah. Well, in this one, and not only did they, so first of all, we all know, we all, what Jake, we we all know what whiskey dick is. We all know what whiskey dick is. So you gotta, you gotta find that balance of, oh, they're, unless you wanted bottoms. If you just wanted bottoms, that's, that's a different thing. But yeah, any, any, any MAGA uh, uh, youth pastor, can do that. I mean, any hack can do that. These guys were, uh, no, it said that they were using Viagra and stuff too. They were like drugging right. them, but then also giving them Viagra, which has got to be, it's got to be tough to get your measurements right. This is what well, I'm saying. Here's where they made it really tricky. Not only were they drugging them and they had to find that balance between whiskey dick and a, and a soft on, but they intentionally recruited heterosexual men. And here's my favorite line who were physically groomed prior to the sex parties, including shaving their genitals without advance notice um how do you do a surprise genital shave well you, you know what i mean like i i, I guess like a like a, a, a surgical table would i i don't know i mean but my thing is even if you're even if you're straight not to get too much into my manscaping but uh, uh how if you're if you're like a straight model in the 2000s you're probably shaving it anyway for women no what, what who are these animals these animals who are going to go around New York City as a male model with an unmanscaped junk. They're the real criminals, I think, is the dudes who are out there banging with. Because, because look, they're all, they're, they're, they're completely ripped. They're clean head to toe. You, you know, this, this poor this poor woman, she's going back thinking, like, of course she's got shaved junk. And then she gets there and boom, it's like Woodstock down there. They didn't well, sign up for that. I've... I know for a fact I have used this podcast as a platform for an apology before, but I will do it again. I have said that in my 20s, before I knew better, before it was even a thing, before I, I'm an old man in my 20s, twi- I did not manscape. And I, I apologized on this platform to any woman that did the kindest thing a woman can do for a man down there because uh, I was I was unkempt and I've since learned the error of my ways. I am trim and shorn and, and yeah, that, that was me back in the day. Jake. Yeah, but, but were... Was it before the two thousands? Yeah. 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 Then that's different. It was a different time, you know, at least you're not like, Oh, that's David. Uh, my, my buddy, David, a uh, good, uh, good subscriber <laughs> has been uh, ragging on me this week because I, he goes, at least you're not live during the world series. He's been ragging on me for posting videos when he's trying to watch the game and David love you. As I tell you, 
You just just leave your phone aside and tell the commercials, then pick it up, watch during a commercial, and then back to your game. But yes, we actually this is worse because shouldn't you be in church right now, David? Shouldn't shouldn't you be in church worshiping Christ? Even if you're a Jewish or Muslim or Buddhist, shouldn't shouldn't all uh people be worshiping Christ? Yeah, leave their kids there. We leave your kids <laughs> there. We we've learned from this episode nothing weird happens at church. Salt. Oh, Sam uh, Elliott uh, showed his gargantuan salt and pepper bush around. Uh, I don't remember that. I just remember uh, Kelly. Uh, uh, what's her name? Kelly. Kelly. I remember her. Her. Her breastages. Her. Her lovely chest in Roadhouse. What was her last name? Kelly. What? Dude, I don't. I don't remember that. But man, all bet. All bet. Sam Elliott Bush was 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 completely Kelly Lynch. Kelly Lynch. Yeah, went just completely Snow White and like yeah, aggressive, aggressive. Now, Sam Elliott doesn't shave. He doesn't need the right now. He was, yeah, Damn. dude. He, you know, it's it's Sam Elliott would never man's He would be like, "You want me to take that razor and put it where? I'm not doing that." I'm I'm gonna go completely sideways with this conversation. Do you know the story behind Kelly Lynch, her husband Mitch Glazer, and Bill Murray? No. Okay. Really quick, Kelly Lynch gave an interview where she swears. That uh, Bill Murray and her husband, Mitch Glazer, are friends. And whenever he would be traveling or wherever he is and Roadhouse would come on, he would start texting him like, Oh, hey, you're cutting out, man. I I'm can't looking hear at you. Kelly's no boobies. Kelly and Patrick Swayze are getting down. Hey, man, I, I straight up can't hear you right now. You just went dead. You're yeah, mute. Yeah, like your, your volume is You can't off. hear me. You're mute. You just popped Wait. back. Now I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Our, our phone stream there was messed up. I, yeah, ah, I couldn't gotcha. hear you. All I did was talk about how Bill Murray would uh, text uh, Kelly Lynch's uh, husband whenever, he, whenever the sex scene with her and Patrick Swayze would come on. He would text her oh, like, yeah. <laughs> he just texts her like, "Hey, I'm watching Patrick that. Swayze bone your wife." <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, man. All right, here we go. Oh, Jake, we got to talk about victimhood here. Uh, we got victims in America, and we they need to be. We need to help victims. This whole podcast is about victims today. Christian students in Wisconsin speak out after Kamala Harris told them they were at the, quote, wrong rally. Remember that? Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of weird. I, Because if you're going to go and heckle, like, yeah, do right. it. It's a, it's a protest. I get that. But then don't sit there and go, she didn't invite me on the stage when I was calling her a baby killer. Like, yeah, I, you, you know, uh, oh, were... if I go to a Trump rally and yell that he's Hitler or something, he's probably not going to he's probably not going to give me a free pair of shoes or an exactly. NFT. Exactly. The whole thing is they, they literally went to the event to yell stupid shit. They were shouting uh, Christ is king and things like uh, uh, so it was like an abortion stuff. thing. And she um, turned and I remember I saw the clip. She goes, I think you're at the wrong rally. You want the smaller one down the street. But now. I was pushed by an elderly woman. We were heckled at. We were cursed at. We were mocked. And that's the biggest thing for me personally. In reflection of the event, Jesus was mocked. Or you went there to be an asshole and you got called out. Shut the fuck up, you whiny bitches. What is this? What? And of course, Fox put them on. Yeah, if I go to a Trump rally and yell stupid shit about how, whatever... I don't get to go on MSNBC and say they treated me. They treated me badly. They they didn't let me yell at, at, at Trump. Shut the fuck up. Let the Kamala people go hear her. Let the Trumpers hear him. You don't have to cry. Were, were you honestly in good faith trying to convert people? Did you think that yelling your stupid shit was going to have people go, oh, wait, hey, these two assholes are yelling shit. Maybe I should go vote the way they want me to. Fuck off. I didn't know that Christ didn't like abortions. <laughs> I'm going to stop abortions getting never mentioned in the Bible and, and serious Jewish scholars point out that abor abortion is a right. So Christians, uh, yeah, they, they, uh, you know, changed things and took Jesus's. Well, Jews don't worship Jesus. So, but uh, the Torah, the original Bible, but all oh, yeah. these poor victims and they got heckled. And I love this part though. This is a teenage boy. This is a teenage fucking boy. I was pushed by an elderly woman. Yeah, that's a weird. Uh, I I would like to see a video of like an old lady just fucking like clocking him though. You know what I mean? Just planting right. her feet, twisting, just like oh, you fascist piece of shit, crack. Like really, just just lay it into. That would be hilarious. Okay, I have a question for our listeners, Kevin. Oh shoot, I didn't know you guys did live. Nice, thank you, Kevin. Uh, yes, A to Z. They were yelling about abortion, correct? Here's my question. John H., who is this Muppet talking? Which one of us is the Muppet? 
That's yeah. Is it? Is it? Me you or is you it were Jake? talking when he put it. He definitely called you. He would never call me a muppet. I'm not weird looking. <laughs> Nothing. We- I yeah, don't. I, I don't remember me. If he had said, "Who's the Kermit bald the frog Steve with Buscemi. human skin pulled over his face?" What's up? If he had said that, "Who's the bald Steve Buscemi looking like guy?" That would be you. I guess I am the muppet. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. He said you. Well, that's not specific at all. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't say the one with hair or the one without. God damn it. Be more specific. Be more specific in your heckles. Just like the guy we're talking about here. He's not great at heckling. Uh, Let's see. Charlie, I hate abortion. I saw just give birth, then put the kid up uh, to adoption. It's, you you know, I but but what if what if your punch card at Planned Parenthood is almost full? Me and the wife get a free one once we fill up the punch card. And now you want me to just changes. Yeah, like the subway card. Dude, you get you get points at Planned Parenthood. You get to buy things much like uh, much like what Marlboro Bucks or Camel Cash, Pepsi points, all that kind of thing. I mean, we're impregnating them. I, I, we're I'm impregnating her just to just to get them at this point, man. I'm I'm very I'm this close to getting a Planned Parenthood jacket with my with my with my abortion bucks. I need more abortion bucks. So he said, "You, which again doesn't help. Which one of us, you?" Okay, which one of us was talking when you wrote you? But then he wrote Trump 2024. So we're insulting his Cheeto God, and that has if offended. Well, I, apologies that we we don't mean to insult one of the least qualified people ever to be president and to run again. That's our bad. So he's yes. guilty of all 98 charges or whatever. <laughs> all right. So we should let's get away from politics then. Let's let's talk about something light. Um, this is a tragic headline that took a twist I did not see coming. Woman becomes quadriplegic after hammock accident. Uh, Dude, every story today is a fucking bummer, man. This is rough. I was hoping we'd do the only... Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I mean, first of all, it's tragic. Uh, This this woman is a quadriplegic, and that's horrible, and I'm not making fun, but your mind does immediately go to, okay, we've all tried getting in a hammock, and it flips you out. Hammocks can be difficult. They can be tricky. Was alcohol involved? But then you scroll down and it's Aaron Field warms. Well, warms, not warns. That's an M warms against hammocks. Uh, Great, great uh, editor. Great chat GPT there. No one caught that. Supposed to be warns against hammocks after an accident involving one left her quadriplegic. On the day of the accident in 2017, she was with a boy she just started dating. They both sat in a hammock and a chimney collapsed and fell on her. Is that a hammock accident? A chimney yes. collapsed and fell on. It. So I'm assuming it doesn't say I'm assuming the 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 hammock was attached to the chimney, like you put it between two trees or two posts or something. Yeah. So and it, it got so that is a foundational accident. Like check the foundation of your hammock before setting it up. I need to well, make it yeah. Yeah, I I think it sounds like. It, when you read the article, it sounds like uh, uh, like like big chimney propaganda where they're letting they're letting the hammock industry take the fall on this. No pun intended. Uh, but but if you watch the video, there's an eight minute video. I watched the video because I was like, wait a minute, man. This sounds like a this sounds like a a, a, a chimney apologist, you know, but then you, you read you chimney read, sweeps are making a comeback, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't you know what I mean? I don't know if this is part of uh, Harris's economic plan, Trump's economic plan that involves this 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 pro chimney sweep propaganda something. But you 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 listen to the video and it turns out it's it, what she's what she's warning people about is about tying stuff like you said yeah. to stuff, you know, that's uh, because it, it was like a small chimney that came out of the ground and over time I guess it had weakened. And she's not even she's not even saying don't get hammocks. You know what I mean? Like she's right. saying just That's tie the to headline. stronger shit. The clickbait headline has you going, oh, what should I be afraid of hammocks? News at 11. Yeah. Yeah. Even even the woman who is uh, caused to be become paraplegic from a hammock is not as anti hammock as the guy writing the article. You know, Mary and, Poppins and really, needs to fix that shit. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. FCBDOC. 
<laughs> Mary Poppins. That's a good reference. Good that, job. That's there. right. I think Mary Poppins did it on purpose. I think she was teamed up with the Clinton Foundation. You know what I'm saying? I think she's over there just like, let me push this over with my umbrella. But I no, also I, would have accepted a Santa Claus reference. Uh, Mary Poppins is better because it's more obscure, but Santa Claus would have made for a good reference too. No, actually, oh, there it, it is right there. Picture, right there. In the I video, say it's it Santa's shows responsibility. The Same time as I'm saying it. Yeah, no way Santa could have fit his fat ass down this one. It was a very small chimney. It would have to be. It would have to be Mary Poppins, honestly. It would have to be Mary Poppins with an eating disorder to fit inside this thing. It was small, but but she was just saying. Uh, uh, actually it's kind of a heartbreaking slash heartwarming video because the 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 guy that she was kind of starting to date that she was sitting on the hammock with stayed by her side through the whole thing that yeah 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 they got married um it well, was and they had was, just started dating well god that is that's fantastic and good for and tragic but okay yeah. keep going i'm sorry y yeah no it's uh uh you really are a bit of a piece of shit for trying to make make light at this whole story after watching the eight minute video you're gonna watch it and feel bad you're gonna watch it and feel bad you're going to wish you could go back in time and uh, on the way to killing Hitler, you're going to stop and not not make jokes about this on the podcast. I feel. Uh, but no, Probably. it's it, it, it. She was just saying that she met like two or three other paraplegics who got injured from tying a hammock to something that would that collapsed on them. You know, this is a conspiracy. So it, it's, it's happening. It's like an E. coli outbreak only with hammocks. Yeah. Yeah, it's being buried in the news by the big hammock uh, uh, organizations who this journalist is clearly on the payroll of because the journalist puts in the thing a chimney fell on her. Well, yeah, but you got to explain it was tied to the chimney and the chimney came out of the ground and it's, it's a whole thing. I mean, it was it was a, a, a hammock that was secured unsafely and that's what that that's what did it and she did meet other people that it happened to so it's actually a good thing that she's doing it sounds crazy the way you read the article because well, the article anytime shit, anybody's injured dead, and they they raise awareness for their injury to, so that others don't succumb to it that that is a good thing yes it's a beautiful thing the woman's a saint it shows yes. the guy who's married anything to her. happens to me i'm becoming the most bitter angry cunt on the planet you know, oh, yeah. I'm not going to go out and try and help others. I'm going to stew in my anger and rot away in a bedroom somewhere alone. Oh, yeah, man. The only the only thing that 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 reminds me of that the only other example I can think of of this. I watched a documentary about sharks and there was this guy who was a uh, he was like a shark environmentalist or whatever, you know, like tries to help them in the wild and ooh, do ooh, all ooh, that. Ooh. Does this have like a grizzly man ending where the sharks eat him? A little bit. Uh, uh, no, it's got a grizzly man beginning. Um, oh. he, um, lost an arm and a leg doing this, but he still does it. He just dives with prosthetic limbs and he was like, uh, like an Australian special forces guy, you know, and they're just interviewing. He's like, yeah, we, it wasn't the shark's fault that the animals, they just do what they do, mate. Now I, I still want to help and save them, you know? And, and, and I thought he'd be I'm down like, there dude, like, hey, eat this, motherfuckers, you know? Yeah, and he bit off an arm and a leg, and he, now he's he's. he's no, I'm down saying the prosthetic one. Eat this, arms. you know, it's all plastic. You're not getting shit from me anymore. Uh, that's right. It, it's a, no, but he's got another real arm and a leg next to the fake one. They could still bite off, and he's still down there trying to help them. And he's like, yeah, I'm just trying to save the natural habitat. And I'm like, dude, I wouldn't be doing that if I even lost a pinky. Even like a, a part of my pinky finger from a shark, I would turn into Clint from Jaws. I would just be like, I'm going to hunt these beasts the rest of my life. You know, I would I would just go out with the sole purpose of making shark fin soup for breakfast every goddamn day. <laughs> oh, this is a nice one. Miss Miss Bradley Cooper, you really are funny. I love your podcast. Thank you. That's hell yeah. That is that's we don't get nice comments. Usually it's just people calling us assholes. But uh, so what is, that, that's endearing. Go. All right. So your wife moved you to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> she wants me next to the uh, the the running water softener that she has been texting me saying, all right, this is what we have to do. So as soon as I'm off here, I get to deal with the flat tire on my car and uh, the water softener. But before we go. Let's let's do a, a lighthearted story because this has been all making fun of shit. But th this one I found this morning. Lily Allen says her OnlyFans feet pictures make more money than Spotify streams. She was oh, yeah, seeing dude. her podiatrist or doctor. What was it? She was seeing her pedicurist. She was getting a pedicure. 
And uh, she got told, you have nice feet and could make some cash off them. So she took some pictures of her feet, put them on in line, and yeah, she's making money. Now, of course, what? Uh, my me out. I'm gonna walk back in. Oh, I can. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I see you on. Oh, you're just frozen on, on Zoom. That's the problem with keeping the news stories open. Well, if you're on Zoom, uh, if you're listening to this and not watching it live, uh, you're listening to me because we've had a mishap. But I'll read some of the story while Jake gets hooked back up again. So she she gets told she has nice feet and she decides to open an OnlyFans account. And of course, people who have too much time on their hands, they start complaining. Imagine being an artist and having nearly 8 million monthly listeners on Spotify, but earning Oh, wait, that's her response. Where is it? Imagine being one of the biggest, the biggest pop music stars in Europe and then being reduced to this. And she said, imagine being on Spotify and earning more money from 1,000 people subscribed to pictures of your feet than 8 million Spotify streams. Because Spotify, she charges $10 a month. So if she has 1,000 people, that's $10,000 a month. But for 7.5 million listeners on Spotify, you get paid between 0. 0.003 and 0. 0.005 cents per stream. Less than a fraction of a penny. So fuck yeah, good for her for jumping in and, and showing feet pictures for money. You're completely gone from a Zoom now. Are you able to log back in or are you still trying? Keep talking, man. I got to restart my computer. Well, the, the thing with, uh, oh, you're completely shutting down your computer. We're almost out of time. Uh, let me see what the time says on Zoom. It says we're down to three minutes. So just think of your closing comments. But every, so according to the CEO, Kelly, Kylie Blair, everyone assumes it's sexy content. Some of it is sexy content. And we're very happy that we're an inclusive platform and we're that way for a reason. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that 97% of OnlyFans is, quote, sexy content. I mean that what what else is it for? What are you doing? Recipes? Um Bruno Polish, favorite movie. I I got too many favorite movies, but just off the top of my head, I'm going The Last Boy Scout with Bruce Willis. The Last Boy Scout is the only movie I've ever seen where one character sums up the entire movie in one sentence. The Damon Wayne character, Damon Wayne's character is is isolated bruce willis is off on his own and he goes think think what would joe hallenbeck do well he'd shoot everybody and smoke a bunch of cigarettes and that is the entire movie the last boy scout is bruce willis literally just shooting people and smoking cigarettes and that's why it's the best movie ever made all right so um jake's back we have two minutes left but yeah good for lily allen for showing pictures of her feet if that's what people are into and you can make money who's to judge i have i have heard from uh, just friends of mine that I know, you know, comics and stuff that, that the the feet guys specifically pay a lot of money. And to that, I say you are morons feet guy. OK, like, I mean, hey, man, be into what you want to be into. But like, why specifically do you got to pay to see women's feet? All you got to do for one thing. And maybe this is just because I'm not a foot guy. A lot of feet kind of look the same. And uh, you don't even have to look at porn to see feet. You could Google women's sandals and you will see sandal models women who are professional feet models uh showing you their feet for free just trying let to sell some stuff. let man. me interrupt you uh let's sign off on zoom we'll keep going live for another couple minutes but we're gonna run out of the recorded podcast time so uh find me at nathantimmel.com find jake at jake vevra on all social media platforms Thanks for listening. We've been going live on YouTube. So if you want to hear the bonus content, not even a Patreon, no bonus pay free on YouTube. Uh, look for us live on Sundays uh, at 1030 a.m. Central and 1130 Eastern. That's when we've been going live on YouTube. All right. We're going to continue live and, and the recorded broadcast. If you human traffickers want to start making real money, traffic the feet.